Hello each and every one of you out there. I am the Dance of Life Dancer. And tonight, we're going to take a trip back to December the 14th, 2009. I have some new footage that has never been shown from the St. Matthew's United Methodist Church, Reverend Sloan on 1200 Moreland Avenue in Belleville. Uh, I have some new footage tonight to share with you that has never been seen before. I didn't even know it existed. So I'm going to be putting it together. So this is going to be probably a half an hour video or something like that. I'm going to be putting it together with all the rest of the footage. And then a little surprise at the end of that with a little bit of music for you. With a, I'm going to make a little bit of a music video for you at the end of this. So, December the 14th, 2000. Sorry, December the 14th, 2009. The Glory of Christmas at St. Matthew's United Methodist Church. And when I went there that night, uh, it changed my life forever. Forever it changed my life, that night did. When I went in there, I sat down. You're going to pretty much see most of what happened that night on the video. But I went in there, I sat down. On this side, the right hand side, Reverend Sloan comes up to me and you'll see in the video, starts attacking me and calls the police on me and sends me out of there because he said the uh, uh, church, that they don't want me there. The elders don't want me in the church. Jesus don't want me in the church. You'll hear it all on there. I mean, some of this stuff was said before the video was taken, but most of it's on video that night, which actually I revisited it that place the other time. I drove around. Well, that's another video. But anyway, back to 2009. December 14, 2009. I'll tell you something, my friend. That night is losing in for me forever. Because that night is the night that changed my life. All I went there for is a Christmas concert. The glory of Christmas is called. They still hold that thing. And you want to know something? They're telling a bunch of lies right now. Because I've, I've followed this all these years. Now they're claiming they're LGBT friendly and all this different stuff. You can find it on the internet. Oh, we're LGBT friendly and this and that and this and that. You know what, something? Don't you dare. Don't you dare believe that. Because I'm going to show you what St. Matthew's United Methodist Church is really like. And there's going to be some new footage on there that's never been shown before to anybody anywhere. It's all going to be included on the same video. So there's going to be about four videos in one video. Right here. So you stay with me. And you watch the whole picture. You see what it really happened that night. Because there's more on there that I found that I didn't even know existed. So. He's claiming Reverend Sloan. Mm-mm. You claim he, he claims that he, they're LGBT friendly and all that stuff, and <laughs> that makes a laugh of my day, because I'm going to show you what they're really like. So you watch this video, and you tell me, when you get done watching this, you tell me, you leave my comments there, you tell me, do you think this is a church that's LGBT friendly to you, or not? They had me arrested, and it's on there. And we moved from that place for being transgender. And oh, the church elders, they don't want you there. So and so and so and so. Blappy, 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 blap, if you know what I mean. But uh, that night lives in here for me for, in my life forever almost. Because you want to know something? It changed me. Because it changed the course of the history of my life. I'll never forget that. And you want to know something, Reverend Sloan? St. Matthew's United Methodist Church? You're a hypocrite. Each and every one of you a hypocrite. You stand there and hypocrite and preach the Word of God out there and you don't even know the meaning of the Word yourself. You sit there and tell me I'm bad. You sit there and you say, oh, I'm LGBT friendly. Look it up. LGBT friendly. You want to know something, you hypocrite, Sloan? Reverend Sloan, hypocrite. Stay and watch the video and watch for yourself. Please don't take my word for it. Here's the video. Thank you. 
Thank you. Oh, how you doing? I'm good, sir. How are you doing? Doing good. Good. <coughs> sir, I'd like you to sit back here. I'm. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. What did you say? Sir? I'm not a sir. I'm a man. Are you sure? Because I'll have the sheriff uh, check and see if you are. You want to correct that, please? I come here to enjoy the music. Okay. I will sit back here, but there's no need for insult me. I'm not insulting you. You sit, you sit back here. All right. You want to correct what you said I'm first, gonna, please? I'm going to have the. I'll tell you, make people most uncomfortable when you use a lady's restroom. Okay. And so I'd like, uh, if we need to, we'll have uh, we'll have the sheriff here to uh, talk with. You just hear what this person said, my, my friend? Down on that end, maybe? Ma'am, we need you to grab her for stuff and come outside with us, please. Yeah, you know, I haven't done anything, so. Uh, the people here were just asking me to. Uh, I'm sitting back here just like they said. Yes, I'm enjoying the music. I have done nothing to nobody. Okay. Well, apparently you're causing disturbance. You're going to have to come outside. With I haven't done nothing. Ma'am, would you like to come out easy? Okay. I haven't done anything to anybody, sir. You're going to have to come with us. You're why? Because you're not listening to me. I want to know why. Because they've asked you to leave. The people they want to talk to you. Now let me ask. Let me say something here. Could you come over here? Because I can't hear you. We're going to step outside to talk. Then we'll talk. Can I say something? <laughs> That's mine. Okay. Do not touch mine. Then let's go. Now, they are throwing me out of Church of Jesus Christ, right? Am I right? They're just asking you to not come back. Why? Because that's what they want. Can I hear him say that? I want to hear him say it because I don't believe it. He just it. told us to say it. Grab your stuff and let's go. Right now you're just walking out the door. If you keep it up, you're in jail. For what? For disorderly conduct. Disorderly, disorderly conduct. Trespass. But all because I just want to, I love to listen to music. Is that yours is or is that a yours? church booklet? Is that yours? That's not, that's church stuff. I don't do church right, stuff. Let's side door over here. Now they are throwing me out of church, my friends, because I love music. That's cool. That's mine. You don't touch my equipment. Alright. My equipment, my friend. You hear this, my friends? I am being taken out of church because I love music. I want you to hear this, all my friends out there. For doing nothing. This badge works here. No need for status. For doing absolutely nothing. Call him. I am being escorted out of church, my friends, for doing nothing. This is from the dance of life. You don't mind if I have my coat on now, do you? No, not at all. Now, my friends, I'm being thrown out of the Church of Jesus Christ because I've done nothing. You don't mind if I stop here and put my coat on, do you? Not at all. Put it on. Do not step on my equipment. Church, 
encourage my friends out there because I love music. I'm talking to myself. And I love Jesus and I want to listen to music the way I want to. And I have done nothing wrong, my friends. Do you have your ID with you? Did I leave it on the seat? If I did, I, all my money is with me. No, you didn't. You've got everything in your, your purse. I need your ID. I've done nothing, sir. Do you see this, my friend? It helps if you turn around the other way. Turn what around? So I can see what you're saying. Dance of life right here. There you go. Yeah, there you are. There's my ID. Okay, now you got stuff on. Let's walk out the yeah, door. State ID. Punch your date of birth. your date of birth and all that stuff. Now, my friends out there, I ain't being thrown out of church. I don't have it. Come on. Here. What'd you say? Come on. May we go in this Yes. Way? Absolutely. You see this, my friends? This is what discrimination is. This is what the world has come to. Do you understand it? Does everybody understand that? I have done nothing to nobody. I did nothing to nobody. Listen, apparently there was a disruption with you last night. They don't want to have the same interruption and disruption again tonight. And I have done nothing. Okay, well, I just then, want to make my eyes, statement. I have a right to make my statement. And, and I'm going to make my statement while you quit talking for a minute. Right. Can I speak okay. first, please? Oh, you've done plenty of speaking. Now it's my turn to speak. Be my guest. Okay. You was involved in a disruption here last night. They don't want you here anymore, making any and more disruptions. And what was this, what was this Ma disruption? Ma'am, you'll have to take that up with the priest and everybody else. All I did was sit back there and enjoy the music the way I wanted to. I am at the, what church is this? This is the United Methodist Church, right? I don't know what kind United of church United Union is. Methodist Church. Is there anything no. right on your ID? Yes, it is. So and Dance of Life is cooperating. Is that a current address for you then? Yes, it is. Dance of Life is being thrown out of church because I love music, my friends. I want you all around the world to respond to this because I've done nothing to nobody. Where's, I, where's your vehicle at? My vehicle is back here, my friend. All right, let's walk to it. I would like to have my equipment back. And you I have like your to walk equipment. backwards some. Okay. Am I going to be on YouTube now? Yes, you are. Okay. What's a good phone number for you, Susan? I don't have a phone anymore. No phone? I can't afford one. Okay. Now, my friends, I am being escorted out of church. This is discrimination at hand. And I Why want you, you to respond all across the world to this, my friends. I'm sorry? Why are you saying you're being discriminated? I am being discriminated Why? against, my friends. Why? I don't know. Why don't you ask oh. that member of the church? I'm telling you, why? Well, you ain't being discriminated. I have done nothing wrong. Well, in their I eyes, love to listen to music. I guess in their eyes, in the eyes of the Lord, you was being disruptive last night, and they don't want you here. And ex I did nothing last night, my friends out there in the world. I've done nothing to nobody, my friends. And this is the police escorting me out of church. Why ain't she getting you in the picture? I don't know. I guess I look better. Where's your car? Uh, over here someplace. Okay, well, let's go find it. Is that the back door or the front door? I have no idea how this church is set up. This bad. Look over here. Last name. Stone. Can I have my ID back, please? Who's Last name Stone. First name Sam Union. Sam Union. Sam Union. Sam Union. Sam Adam Moore. Lincoln. Lincoln. You see this, my friends? What's happening? This is discrimination at hand. I know where I'm going. I'm a dancer. I know I can feel behind me. Okay. You know what? You got me so nervous. I don't know where my car is. Okay. Well, we need to find it. Now, hold on, don't get ran over now. Oh. 
What kind of car do you have? It's red, and I think I came in from the other direction. Oh, you told us you came in from this side. Well, you got me so confused, I don't know where I'm going. Can I please have my ID back? When we're done with you, we'll give it back to you. Okay, well, we might be traveling this yard for a while. I'm sure you don't mind that, do you? Because I've done nothing, my friends. This is the front. Let's try the other side. It's against the wall back there, so that's where you want to walk. Okay, let's go. You see this, my friends? I want you to see what's going on here. Is it a pickup truck or not a uh, pickup SUV? Pickup truck. Pickup truck. I'm not talking. I'm talking to myself. Dance of life never be disruptive to anybody. I just come here to listen to the music, my friend. I didn't come here to hurt anybody. I didn't come here to do anything to anybody. Can I please have my ID back? I'm done with you. You're to the truck. You can well, have it. I'm looking for it. Okay. You see what's happening, my friends out there? This is discrimination at its worst. I come here to listen to a beautiful Christmas music concert. And this is what they do to me. I want you to respond to this, friends. United Methodist Church in Belleville. Right, make sure you get them, not us. We're not the bad guys here. I'm aware of that. Oh, okay. So why are you videoing us then? I want the world to know what discrimination is like. Oh, okay. Why do you feel do you have a statement wait, to make? Why do you feel they're discriminating against you? For one, they called me sir, and I'm not a slur. For two, they said that I'm disrupted and I have done nothing wrong except sit back to the list of music which I enjoy. I'm looking for my truck. Okay. Yeah, this way. Because this is the way I came in. And this is discrimination at hand, my friends out there. I want you to see what it looks like so you know never to, to wind up letting this happen to you. Now, the answer of life is cooperating with this. I, get, I didn't give you any problems, now did I? No, ma'am. That's right. Did I give you any problems, sir? Besides sticking that camera in my face. Huh? Well, that's not a problem. No? You don't mind having your picture taken? Yes, I do. Well, this is my property, so... Back there. Because I came in this way. Look for a red truck. It says Dance of Life on it. That's what the whole truck says. My friends, this is discrimination at hand. What are you, the Sheriff's Department? St. Clair County Sheriff's Department. Yes, you are. Yes, I was in the back row. You need to quit looking at us and your camera and find your truck. Oh, I'm looking. I know I came this way somewhere. Well, you said you was against the wall. This ain't a wall. I'm against this. I parked in the last place. There it is. There. Now, well, take a look at this, my good, my friends. This is discrimination at hand from the United Methodist Church in Belleville, Illinois. I want you to see this. Here's your, here's your truck. I can walk backwards because I know how to do it. Okay. Now see this, my friends? I want you to respond right, to Susan, this. Susan, you have a wonderful evening. All right, you need to leave now. If you come back now, they don't want you here, and you will be arrested for criminal trespass, okay? And can I ask for what reason, please? Because they ask you to leave. The church, now, who asked me to leave? The church uh, elders asked you to leave. The church elders asked me to leave. Correct. And I We're done. We're done, Susan. Okay. Go ahead. You take off. Hop in your car. Truck. To nobody.
One last time, did I do anything to any, did I, did I smart up to you anyway? Nope. Did I cooperate? Yes, you did. And who am I speaking with? Officer? Binion. Binion. Uh-huh. Okay, hop in your truck and go. Thank you very much. All right. Have a nice evening. Just don't come back over here, okay? Don't come back to where? To this church. What's the name of this church? St. Matthews. St. Matthews. Thank you. Are you ready? St. Matthews. United Methodist Church, December the 14th, 2009, a dedication to Reverend Sloan. Are you ready? We're going to burn in hell.
nation to Reverend Sloan. We're all gonna burn in hell. Are you ready? As I go down, down, down. Now, we're gonna burn in hell. A dedication to the St. Matthews United Methodist Church. Welcome to hell.